and now it's time to finally learn about what nuxt.config.js file include so first thing we can see we are going to define what kind of application we are going to create with nuxt.js so yes we are saying here mode is universal you can also say single page application and then it the the app will not going to uh, compile your uh, server side things when you are saying it's a single page application but because we said it's universal we are having a client which obvious but server also so that's how this mode of your application is defined in nuts.config.js then comes the head part and this is most important thing for nuts.js because it, that's how our next application become seo friendly here we can define the meta related things or links or whatever we want in the head section of our application so whatever you define inside this head section of config next config file is going to apply to all of your application and later we will see how we can define per page meta tags or links or whatever we want to create on the head tag but to remember this thing is that we are going to have these meta title and links that means all null head for every page so yes our server is running so if i now go to localhost 3000 and inside this if i go and see the page source in this page source i can see the description is my amazing nuxjs project where this came from this came from package description package is actually loading the package.json file inside this package.json file we are saying my amazing nuxjs project and that's why we are having here so you can see it's so easy to set your head tags in nuxjs which is very difficult in vue.js because again nux is using view meta for having all these things so we don't have to configure view meta but if you are using just vue.js application then it will be little difficult to set up view meta so next the loading uh, color <laughs> it's, it's not so important so we will talk about this later we already talked about css plugins modules and yes if you have axios related things you can define it here just like uh, the host or port or token type of things if you want to have yeah you can define it then comes build and here inside build yes these things are good but we have es lint related things so it says run es lint on save es lint is going to check how you have written your vue.js code so if you go to the pages then index.js because ESLint doesn't found any error in this page so yes it is compiled properly but if i create any error like like if we give us give a space ESLint is saying that there should be not a space because this space is not doing anything so you should remove this space but if i do this and if i save it you can see it's recompiling but now we have a error error is saying that we are trying to fix this problem but we are having problem you have not defined on your eslint that either we are going to fix it or not so here on this configuration of eslint part what you need to do you need to simply say options and inside option i will say fix is true so i'm saying that okay whenever you found any error then just fix it and yes if i now go let's open this and hit save it's trying to build but again having the error why this error because whenever you made changes in nuxt.config.js file you need to restart your server because when the server is started 
you have seen that this next config is loaded properly but because we made changes so server doesn't know that there is a change in next config so either you can stop it by saying control c or you can simply say rs restart so i'm saying rs it's restarting everything is now compiling from the front end as well as from the back end then if we try to fix it and that means if we try to save this file it will going to work properly and i think you you saw that it's even fixed while compiling so if i again do this save it it's not doing that so let's wait for this to complete and then we will save it save this file and we will see the magic of uh, it's beautified with eslint and now the server is restarted and let's do some changes as soon as i save this file after compiling you can see it is already fixed so that's how this eslint is going to work and you need to fix this eslint problem by typing this option fix and this is how configuration are loaded and in the next episode we are going to really start diving in other deep concept because now we understand the directory structure and how actually nuxt works so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye